<laughs> hey guys, Pure Blind Way back. I'm Aaron. I'm Kevin. Hey, he drinks a lot of soda. I'm Eric. And we're back with Doctor Who. Doctor Who. And this is the third part of this. Yeah, we watched that last part and it went. Wait, damn yeah. it! Another part. Using the master. Yeah. Got little robots, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah little yeah. balls coming out. Seven, yeah, six thing. billion. And then the president got zapped. Yep. Yeah, that guy was an American hero. I guess. He was a president elect. Yeah. Yeah. American imperialism. Yeah, I new election. Americans. Yeah. What happens then? You go through a whole new election? Yeah. Because he didn't actually become? Or do you go with the vice president? The vice, vice president elect. Vice president elect. Or do you go with the other option that <laughs> got second place? I'm sure there I mean, are it used rules. to be a are. bipartisan system where the winner got presidency and the loser got the vice presidency. They don't do that shit anymore. Now everybody has running mates. I like that. It worked so much better. Yeah. Yeah, but they had different opinions and they wouldn't mesh. Yeah, but and then the primaries would be so damn important. Yeah. Yeah, yes. but they balance each other out, I think. They be. do, because they're like, okay, we're a leadership team. Yeah. We need to run this country as a team instead of just fighting each yeah, other all Doctor the time. Who? Team! American team. politics. Team. You know why people <laughs> tune in to this BBC show. reaction show to hear about American politics? <laughs> the doctor is also old. So yes, oh, yeah, um, he's old as shit. Old shit doctor yeah. is old. Uh, yeah. Jack, Martha ran Jack off. Jack was there. Martha, Martha teleported away. Gorgeous Martha's just... And then she's running like, I'm going to do something. I'm like, what? She went to a park or something. And, and, like, yeah. and you're like, yeah. fuck! Piccolo discovered a new moon. What can she possibly do? Got a closed beam. It's old beam! Old beam! What could Martha possibly do? Anyone know? We filmed this after the episode. With the scheduling of getting Torchwood and Doctor Who all lined up, the next Who episode is actually a shorter thing that takes place before the Christmas episode. Oh, really? So okay. that's going to be, and that also will help us with our lineups of Torchwood and Who and everything. Too. Sure. Okay. So. Okay. Sounds good. Last of the Time Lords, huh? Last of the Time This is going to be the end of the show. Doctor Who dies. I got him. One year later? Yeah, later. Fucking time travel. Has Martha been doing shit for a year? I hurt myself today. Your lord and master stands on the side. <laughs> he fucking just took over the world for a year? This time Lord fucks. Right, it's like the opposite of the doctor. Yeah. Oh, the mother is his maid? Oh, fuck this, man. He lives in a tent? He has a bull that says dog on it. That's terrible. I think that guy back there is like, I don't like this, but it's my job. What is it, you think they do this every day? <laughs> it looks, <laughs> by his expression, it you looks like I mean? they do it every day. <laughs> There's a resistance going on with the Jones family, who are the servants. I don't like that he enslaved it. Ah! He enslaved the black family. So nice. Jeesh! Got me a statue of himself of the year. I want to statue myself. Who the hell are these things? Telefane? They sound like. Did they, they not see Martha? Toclefane. Toclefane? Yep. Toclefane? Toclefane. Toclefane. Toc fake words. Yeah, After about. a year, you'd probably be giving up hope, wouldn't you? Oh, I mean, they have a plan, apparently. Yeah, at 3 o'clock. Fucking. Jack's gonna. Sam. Samson! Scream Jack! Yes! I'm gonna run it out of there. Ah! Get the hell out of here, man! Oh shit! Laser screwdriver. Oh, oh, here we go again. Again? Isomorphic controls. Like a lock? Oh. Oh, I thought it had different plans. That's really what it was gonna do? Jeez! Oh. I hate this funky music. What does 900 years look like? Yoda? He's more powerful than you can ever imagine now. Uh. It's Voldemort. Uh, that doesn't look right. I'm gonna shoot him down here. Who's shooting? Uh, oh, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. You ready? Do your job, I'll do mine. They weren't ready. Light him up. Light him up, up, up. Oh, this Light guy up, probably up, feels up, like a dick. Let's find out what's inside. There's gonna be a bunch of the little things looking like the doctor in there. There's gonna be those little bitty heads. The, the last of the time, Lord. Oh, they're back together. Look at that. His eyes are wide. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how, how does this suit fit? It shrunk. It made him. It didn't. It's like a teddy bear. 
It's only you. Good. I can't tell if it's a good effect or a bad effect. I don't know what's going on with the wife. I can't read her. Is she even a say anything? If I'm opening something up, I leave my glasses on. My gloves. What? Their heads. Who are you? The skies are made of diamonds. No. You can't be him. The skies are made of diamonds. All the people that were going to Utopia? The human race from the future. It's like Terra Nova. <laughs> we're the same species. Why do you kill so many of us? Because it's fun. <laughs> Stab it. I'll shoot it in the face. <laughs> Looks tall to God. I think we made out of humans. The dogs were made out of humans. These things. The heads. They have humans. A human head Cassandra. Thing. She's, She's a human. Cassandra's a human, yeah. Four chemicals slotted into the gun. Inject him. Kills a Time Lord. Permanently. Hmm. Could you actually kill him? He's enslaved the entire world. Of course I'd kill him. I wouldn't hesitate. I'd kill someone now for enough, for enough money. Actually, you've been walking the earth for... A year all that she's definitely killed somebody by now, right? Mm, maybe. I figured, yeah. Well, he's I a wild dog. Yeah. Well, I'm dog. I would hesitate more at killing a wild dog than with the master. You would? Yeah. First of all, I need to know about my son. State your intent. You need to turn her in to get your son. You need to free him. I have some information for the master. Peach. Concerning Martha James. Oh, God. Damn it. I wouldn't hesitate to kill her. I love him. Fucking Tom. Damn it. <laughs> what would the doctor do? <laughs> no, he's fucked up. Press the doctor button. She's gonna be inspired. Tom! Damn it, Tom. <laughs> Tom's dead? Throwing his life away like a fool. The doctor should be witness. Oh, you're making a James Bond mistake. I'm gonna kill her at the right time. You should just kill her. He's a fool. I wanted to be here. You had companions who could absorb the time vortex. Oh, Rosa pop up right now. That's <laughs> bad wolf. That'd be sweet. I knew she was doing some shit. What are you doing, Martha? I've got her exactly no. where I want her. Fifteen satellites. What? The Archangel Network. A telepathic field. Binding the whole human race together with all of them. Everything. The one that he used with the drums. That word is Doctor. They say it wasn't new. It's like Santa Claus. Oh shit. Stop them. They thought about me being handsome again. <laughs> oh shit. He's fucking flying. He's on wires. Look at him. <laughs> Man, that wife does not care. A paradox machine. You men, with me. Please stay just, here. Just, just, just go. Oh, this guy's, okay. The, the teleport. God damn it. Those men just flip flop real quick, didn't they? Get him, Jack. Oh, and three. And those billion. <laughs> those billion. What the hell happened? He skipped it. He's just throwing the paradox he machine. Got past the thing. I thought he was getting to him. Yeah, me too. Like... Let's teleport again. No, oh, shit, they got back. Time is reversing! Huh? Oh, shit. So that mom is gonna shoot him. Superman's going back in time. <laughs> Holy shit, they're all dead. Oh, I'm not the statue now. Yeah. So yeah, the paradox machine cool was shot. shot, so it's doing this. It, going it back. can't have the taco thing coming back. Yeah. To rewriting history, it's a paradox. It's reverting history. Where are the time reapers? No, thank God, McDonald's is back. Yeah, we didn't talk about it. You see that? What? McDonald's is back. Good. We just saw the president assassinated. Damn it. America here is still dead. Why don't you go back one minute earlier? They couldn't. This is when it Except started. President. Cuffs. Here you go, sir. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. This guy just fucking turncoats. Fucking Mrs. Jones. Do it. <laughs> Do it. Do it. What? Got shot. His wife just waited to the last second. Now. Regenerate. He's like Goku and Vegeta. <laughs> oh, <laughs> That's gonna be me dying, Derek. You would win. I win. You'd be dead. You'd be dead! That's a Mrs. Jones like, she'll have to shoot him. 
She's like, I'm so glad I didn't do it. I don't want to die with handcuffs on. Right? That'd be uh, terrible. I think it's a Jedi funeral. <laughs> Gee. I want to light an effigy one day. Just to say, I don't blame you. You are. Back to work. Oh, yeah, George Wood. Can't have you walking around with a time traveling What? Tour. They power it up and take it away? Yeah, right. What happens if I live for a million years? <laughs> you do what happened to him? Living in the Boshane Peninsula. Tiny little place. I was the first one ever to be signed up for the time agency. They were so proud of me. The face of Bo, they called me. I'll see you. What? Jack is so old that he turns into a giant head. They said Bo Shade or something like that. I'm like, Bo. He's the face of Bo. What? I don't know. I want to be a million years old. <laughs> <laughs> Turn into a giant head. <laughs> Mrs. Jones finally actually saved the whole damn world. Yeah. It's like, Literally guess, what he had I to do. I guess he's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't let me shoot him, though. Yeah. Hello. Oh, uh, Tom. Hello. Still got the beer too. Nope. No, she ain't going. She's staying. She I found this dude named Tom. He died for me. God damn it. And don't get me wrong, I, I like her, but they don't have the connection that Hank and Rose had. I like her, man. I, I, I do. But he always kept her, she was a rebound chick. She always kept her at arm's distance, you know? Even though she did all the shit for him. Oh. See, at least she like goes out on her own terms. Everybody else has either been left behind or marooned. <laughs> like Sarah Jane or whatever. Yeah. Isn't Maroon left, left behind? Huh? Isn't Maroon just left behind? Well, Maroon, like, Captain Jack Rose is, He didn't leave Rose behind, but she's like Maroon in a different uh, world. Uh, I always said to her time and time again, I said, get out. Or say something. So this is me. Getting Now you're rubbing it in. Okay, well, we can keep that story thread open. She can come back, be a guest star, I guess, every once in a while. Like Done with the show. <laughs> what? When Rose was gone, I was crushed. Here, I'm just like, I get it. I, mean, I get this one. <laughs> yeah. Rose, when I was crushed. Ring. Who's that? Who's that? Damn it, what was that? What the fuck? The Titanic or some shit? It's the Titanic or some shit! Rose! Is Rose back? You know how crazy that would be if fucking Rose, his companion showed up, Doctor! They'd be like, Rose, the Titanic, first Jack. Yeah. yeah. And then you Jack Barrowman shows up, John Barrowman shows up as Jack. Uh -huh. Captain, though. The one thing I would say that I like is that if you remember after after the Rose stuff before Martha, yeah. so at the end of last season, mm -hmm. Donna. Right? Donna, the Runaway yeah. Bride episode, right? Okay. She was just there on the TARDIS. Yeah. And uh, he was like, she started screaming, she's like, what? What? <laughs> What? <laughs> like that's how it ended. They did it, like the same thing here with yeah. the what's. Uh, I like, sure. I uh, yeah, like, they got set up what's gonna like something crazy <laughs> happen next. It's always that kind of stuff happens right when he leaves a chick, you know, and then something, bam, right here. Yeah. It's like, you dang know. it! I wish somebody was here to watch this. Yeah. <laughs> yep. But when it comes to like the time stuff and all this stuff happening. Yeah. Okay. All right. Face a bow. I. Okay. He kind of come out of left field. So he lives so long, he becomes face I, of bow. As it was happening, I was trying to think like, there's no setup for that, right? We know the face of bow, we know Jack. I was trying to think, what have I missed? Like, sh is that a theory that was had, or did that just come out nowhere? Um, I don't know if back then. I know uh, whenever I got to it, I was like, wait, what? And then like I kind of looked in, like a lot of people were like, oh my gosh, it's like, like this would be great, and da da da, and they talk about stuff like that. Like that was like what you were doing. Like, is this real? Is this really be a thing? So like, uh, I was like, when I was thinking, I was like, well, I guess Jack can live forever. The well, he says of, that he ages. He said that he gets yeah. occasional gray hair, but he can't die. Yeah. So he's like, what happens when I live to be a million? Like the thing with the doctor when he became that little five million. when he became that little thing. Uh, what they're saying is like, or I thought what they were trying to get at is like, this is what you would look like if you couldn't regenerate for nine hundred years. You would shrink down to this fucking thing. Yeah. You know. Yeah. That's what they were saying, right? Yeah. But with with, with Jack. He'll live so much longer than 900 years. He'll live millions of years, and his face will explode into a well, he big keeps bow. regenerating. Well, no, the doctor does. Right? So does Jack. He keeps regen. Every time he dies, he regenerates. Like he cannot actually like, he can't die. Like he would have to regenerate 
You know what I mean? Like, we'll, yeah, like the we'll, master was keeping the doctor from regenerating. That's why his body did that. Well, no, I, I know. That's why I just explained, right? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. But, yeah, but, the, but Jack can regenerate, though. You know what I mean? Jack can regenerate? I thought he, he just dies and he comes dies. back. Every time he dies, it's a regeneration. Just like Wolverine. Yeah, but it's not the same way of saying regeneration. It's not a Time Lord's right? regeneration. It's not a Time Lord's but regeneration. It's a regeneration. Becoming yeah. a new person. He just comes back, back, but he still will age as he goes. Like It's not like he can die and then come back as like a 25-year-old, right? Yeah. No. no. Yeah, so he'll keep aging and recovering from his whatever kills him, right? And then eventually he gets so old that his face is giant. Is it just big in a tank, though? Wait, like a refreshing I mean, water? He was, he was no, in a tank. I'm pretty sure it came out at the end, right? Yeah. He was a big fucking face. It was like oh. three feet across. And no, he was right. like, you were not alone. I guess he would know. Because he was there. Because he saw the doctor. The doctor was there when he died. Okay. So in Torchwood, we don't have to ever worry about Jack dying. Let me watch that. If, if, if you're going with this being as a true thing. Unless I guess you could, a... maybe you could have like a, maybe they'll split off or something. In a different timeline. Maybe. But there's a, there exists a timeline where beautiful Jack gets so old, he's a giant face. Uh, I mean, even the doctor goes, no. Definitely no. What? Like, he doesn't understand what's going on. Like, he doesn't understand. It. And then at some point, he stopped calling himself J Jack Harkness and became the nickname when he was a kid. The face of Bo. When he started to become just a face, he called himself the face of Bo? Because when he was a kid, they called him the face of Bo? Maybe. Okay. I'm trying to fit this in because... I feel like there's this level of separation here that I don't get. Did I miss something? It's cool. I mean, it could just be a funny thing. It doesn't mean that it's real. You know what I mean? The doctor doesn't believe it's real. He's like, no, no, definitely. Yeah. Jack never met the face of Bo. That would be a fucked up prank. What? If he, like, heard about the face of Bo, and then he said, like, I'm the face of Bo. But remember, I was like, I was like, what was that, the hand of Bo? Because he had a hand. Yeah. And it was a tank. So yeah. when I made that, you knew that Jack is actually the face of Bo. Yeah. You son of a bitch, because I was so proud of that joke. Yeah. That's the hand of Bo. Like, oh, yeah, it's funny. <laughs> yeah, it because so the really thing funny. is, like, whenever, I, whenever they said face of Bo, I, I, was, I was like, what's the connection? I'm like, oh, the hand of Bo. No, that's just the doctor's I hand. I can't remember if I did or not, but I feel like I was like, yeah, that's funny. I'm more confused than I am, like, surprised. Like, I don't know. Yeah. I feel confused that Jack becomes that giant fucking head. <laughs> I mean, it could just be a coincidence. It might not be real. Could be. We, you, we, you know? We, we gotta go through Torchwood, you know? more Doctor Who and stuff to actually know anything else about what Jack's is. That's, that's, that's not a fair question to ask. That's, that's a bad. Because I'm if saying, he does know, then Torchwood there is. There's that I've never seen, there's Doctor oh, Who true. that I've never yeah. seen. I you know, people like, like that all the time. Like, you never know what they may do Just or something, you know? I would say it would be weird if, it, if he wasn't that, the face of Bo. If he was or wasn't? If he, it would be weird if he wasn't now. Oh, wasn't now? Because the way they treated the revelation, you know, if they decided that, oh, I was just kidding. I'm like, well, then this was. He might not have been kidding. It's just like that's what they called him, and maybe the face of Bo took the name. It's a coincidence. You're saying it could be a coincidence that yeah. that moment Jack is like they call me the face of Bo, and it's like dun dun dun. And I, but he doesn't become that thing. I mean, there wasn't that kind of music. But. I know, but it was like it was like designed that way to be yeah. like a revelation. And then it was like, yeah, he just it's a coincidence. Could be. Just saying, I don't know. I mean, we got a lot. We got three seasons of Torchwood to watch. Yeah. Figure out Jack's future, your history, future, future. I'm just saying, I'm gonna keep future. thinking. Every time I see Jack now, I'm gonna be that yeah. guy becomes a giant head in the tank. His timeline, <laughs> which you should say his timeline. Yeah, his timeline. Kind of sad. Past the face of Bo. Wait, how did the face of Bo die? He just got too he's old. He's got too old. Died. He was five so, million years old. Is Jack is immortal old. or does he have just a really long time span? How does that stop? I think Maybe it's like Wolverine. Him. He's able to regenerate to a certain Maybe point when he gets him. so old that he. It just yeah. Like his regeneration slowly finally stopped. Maybe, yeah. maybe it's like a the telomeres run out where he just used it up. Maybe the telomeres just roll along. He just doesn't eat. You know. His head couldn't get any bigger, and it gave <laughs> so up. Like, <laughs> he was crushing so his brains out of his As Bad Wolf has brought him back all those times mm -hmm. until the last time where he dies as a giant head. I don't think it's that she brings him back every time. It's that he's like almost like he's tied to he's almost the locked in time. Like yeah. he's an anomaly <laughs> that. <clears throat> like he can't die because he's no. stuck. I, I thought at one point, alive. didn't they say that, that she brought him back to age. life, but she couldn't? She didn't. She couldn't like focus. It. She brought him back to life at every point in time. Or no, something like that. It, she brought him back so much that he's he's so full of life. That's why he could like give some of his life to that one sex. Yeah, gas I don't think thing. she brought him back in every time he ever died. Oh, I thought that's what they said explicitly. Okay, when, no, when? in in Bad Wolf in Utopia. 
No. Utopia is when they talked about it. Yeah, it was Utopia. Utopia when he was in the gas, it. in the not the gas. But I mean, the doctor even talked about how he's more of an anomaly. Yeah. It's kind of like he's he's stuck in a fixed, like he's a fixed point. Yeah. In in time and space. Describes like he's like he's like. It's not that he can't go forward through time, but like his life is stuck as being like he can't die because he's like fixed. It's a thing that has to be a constant kind of thing. Yeah. So. Okay. He becomes a giant head. <clears throat> yeah, I guess. I guess. That's what they went with, with this, it seems. I haven't seen the whole show. Yeah. But it seems like it's like a, almost a retroactive connection. I, I kind of accept it, honestly. Really? I kind of do, yeah. Like, I don't question the size of hand. Just... Like, when we when we saw the face of Bo, there was never anything, like... Hey, people ask I can't think of any clue that <laughs> that's actually Jack Harkness. You know? Well, I mean, it, it seems to have known him. I feel like when you it knew the doctor. Well, I didn't know the doctor. It said it knew the doctor. Well, I mean, the only thing that really tied in with the doctor necessarily was like when he said, "Like you're no, you're not alone, right?" Yeah. Didn't, didn't one of them say, "My oldest friend"? Yeah, I mean, I thought maybe. It, Let me it, see. It, it, right down. I feel like I need to go back and watch some of the face of those scenes <coughs> and see if there's any like clues. It's just so strange. I, I I don't dislike it. It's just weird. Maybe after we finish Torchwood. And we can see yeah. more stuff. Maybe we can have a discussion. Go, come back to Bo. Talk about that then. After seeing a little bit more of whatever they do with that, you know? Mm hmm You haven't seen Torchwood, right? Yeah. You know, Jack Lee's go back to Torchwood. I have no fucking clue what he does. That'd be some shit you know if, like, mean? Torchwood has its own stories, and at the last five minutes, he's like, and then five million years later, and Jack's like, ugh. <laughs> 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 so, <laughs> so last week, they sent the Torchwood team into the mountains. What'd they do for this whole year? They die. Probably. Something. I mean, they could have been dead. Yeah. Easily. Or they could have been in fear because everything had already happened, and there was that archangel, archangel network thing, yeah. making yeah. everybody like scared, scared and afraid, and cooperative, I guess, and whatnot. Yeah. I I think I get everything that happened. Mm -hmm. It wasn't necessarily like my favorite like arc or story. I love the arc. I, I felt like stuff like kind. Of, not came out of nowhere because they did set up the Archangel mm -hmm. network before. Yeah, the last episode. Yeah, I just I, I don't know. I, I guess I didn't I, I, because I didn't think about that part of the story too much. I was almost felt like man, it's kind of came out of nowhere. But no, it didn't. It is. It's yeah. there. They set it up like that's what he used to get himself elected, right? Yeah. People were I mean, hearing the drums beat, and that's why they said vote Saxon. You're, so the doctor puts it in there, and it somehow powers him. Well, you're, you're taking it, I guess, and like here's like a message. When it's send this message out to all these people. Yeah. And then what he's doing is like taking it in reverse of like, here's the message that all these people are gonna send back to just the doctor. Yeah, and, and that message kind of that powers. It's kind of that collective idea of like, you know, I would kind of go with it with like, you know, the mind is used so much, like there's gotta be some kind of like psychic energy going through the Archangel Network going to him. Sure. You know what I mean? Something along those lines. I mean, unfortunately, or, just, like, the or first... like spirit bomb of like, you know, like taking take, the energy, taking the energy, yeah. like, combined people, energy. It's like a combined. Yeah. That's what it reminds me of. Or Tinkerbell. I mean, Everyone believe and clap. Well, the thing I lines. immediately yeah. thought of was Santa Claus. He can only he only has that magic if, if kids believe in him. You know? In fairies. Yeah, it's like yeah. Uh, Discworld series. Like, the yeah. gods are driven by people's or beliefs. American gods. Or American gods. Yeah. Driven by belief. Can't wait for that to come back on. I just didn't know that the doctor could use that as a power source and become a fucking Super Saiyan for like five seconds. Yeah. And then California couldn't do it again. Yeah, I know. That's gonna One be. thing I didn't... I think, I think it... Ended whenever he had kind sure. of landed. Like it only they were only doing it for that short time. And everyone's like, "Run!" Yeah. Talk away. He's blocking shit. <laughs> yeah. But the one thing I was, I was maybe a little confused with in terms of the master is when they were outside the rocket field. Mm -hmm. He said you couldn't, like you can't do. What did he say? Like you couldn't do that. Like he can't kill himself. He can't kill himself, but he effectively chose to die. He let himself, himself yeah. die, but he didn't actually it, kill himself. It's not right? that he can't kill himself. He wouldn't choose to like blow himself up or shoot like shoot himself. But whenever his choice was being a prisoner to the doctor yeah. or dying, he chose dying. Because if he came back and regenerated, he was just going to regenerate and still be a prisoner of the doctor. You know what I mean? Sure. So he, that's why he was like, "I still win." <laughs> He's like, "I'm not being your prisoner." Yeah. But he wouldn't have like been like, I'm gonna kill myself then. Yeah. It wasn't until like it was like, well, you're gonna be. This is what's gonna happen to you. That's why he was telling the one chick to do it. He was trapped. Had nowhere to go. So in in the first choice, he could either die and win, or lose and survive. Wouldn't lose also include like being a prisoner? 
maybe not necessarily at that point. It was just him and the doctor standing there in the middle of nothing. And then he could have yeah. still teleported away. And then they were struggling later on when we cut back to him. And, and it seems like whenever he was like, away. all right, and he gave him, the, he was gonna give him the thing. Which what was the thing? And what was the next thing they were? Te- you said it was two different things. They had a teleporter, right? Yeah. Jack's teleporter. The other thing was the uh, black the hole. <laughs> no, it was a black hole. Uh, okay. con- Sun. Consumptions. I forget. But converter. Yeah. Black converter. hole converter. Black hole converter. I, I did to feel make black like to destroy the earth. I did feel like this episode and the last two, this entire arc, maybe not so much the first episode, <laughs> but definitely this episode and last episode, had a strange pace of editing. Sometimes it was edited very well to like a piece of music or uh, rhythm. Mm-hmm. You know, the drums. Maybe it was an artistic choice that I'm just not picking up on. Like, it feels like the drums have infected the editing to the point where you were starting to go a little crazy. Well, they do a lot of weird edits when it's really focused on the master. Sure. Because he's kind of crazy in the yeah. way he does everything anyway. And he's I think a, he's, he's kind of... Yeah. He's like, he's, when he was talking to Martha and walking down the street, and he's yeah. talking, and then it's like, he's looking this way, he's looking this way, you know, he's looking back this way, mm-hmm. the way it's cut, but it's all yeah. one conversation. Yeah, that one, uh, that one scene where he was talking about, like, he had another chick, not his wife. The masseuse? Yeah, the masseuse in the black dress. Like, it was edited in a way, like, she kept, like, teleporting in, in the scene. Like, the masseuse was, like, was here, and then back here, and then back here. I was like, wait, is there more than one masseuse? Oh, really? Yeah. It, it, it was really strange. Um, but even scenes that weren't the master, I felt like there's, like, a, str- like, there's a strange pace of editing in this series. This, uh, I would, I've only picked up on it in this episode and the last episode. The first episode, not really so much, I don't feel well, like. You didn't have the master in there where you had the yeah. kind of craziness. Sure. You know, he's going crazy from these drums that he's been hearing all his life. Yeah. So. I mean, Doctor Who always has had, maybe I'm, I'm just not used to, like, British editing, but it's always been slightly different in terms of, like, you rarely see a character go from, like, one location to another. They're always like, here, 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 here. Like Zack Snyder. Yeah. Zack Snyder's kind of known for that. <clears throat> um, have, you, have you put the drums with, like, have you recognized the drum sound at all? Yeah. You mean the... That thing? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What do you mean, recognize it? Da, 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 da. Yeah, okay, I hear it. Yeah. Oh, you like... ruined this theme for me. <laughs> He's gonna hear that from now on. But I just wonder, because like, usually you always are talking about like themes and songs and music. Sure, yeah, I, don't I, know if you ever, I didn't make that connection at all. you ever noticed that or not. But... That's cool, I like that. <coughs> Shane, you were saying about the soldiers just turning. They completely flip-flopped. <coughs> I mean, Is it the mental, was it the... the, the Is it they, part of the Archangel they, thing? Yeah. They did, but, I mean, when they were with them initially, like, I, I feel like they were... There's there's hints of that Archangel stuff because that's how he got voted in. But then once he was in control, you have these taco flames and stuff like that. You're going to die maybe if you do anything. I just thought they saw this doctor fucking flying and blues. Like, oh, fuck, fuck, I mean, that's, that's a possibility too, but I, I, I always thought of it like, like they, they didn't really have a choice before. Like, what were they going to do? So know? it was some form of mind control through the Archangel network that got him elected is keeping the guards? It, it could have been that, and then once he reversed it, that was gone. And then no one was like... Either afraid or you know scared to fight. If this little like one foot old man turned into this handsome David Tennant and was fucking flying Flying around and and walking bulls with his mind (laughs) and shit, I'd probably join him too. I did feel like it was weird. Like he has uh, Martha's family enslaved, and then one day they started throwing water and shit and messing everything up, and then the next day they just put him back exactly where they were. (laughs) You know, like what if they just did it again? Well, they had them all imprisoned, like yeah. locked up. I feel like they, I think, didn't they bring them out when Martha was there? Yeah. Yeah, they but, but then after, after their stuff. attack, they just go and hang out with Jack by themselves, like hanging out. No, while they while were, still they there, were right? locked in the same room with Jack. Were they locked was... with them? I thought they were just hanging out, like in the, they were like hanging off pipes and stuff, like I didn't think they were locked in the same spot as Jack was locked in one area. Jack was locked, still in the. And then they were thing. all confined into another area. Yeah, but then they went and talked with Jack. They did? Yeah. There was a scene where, the, like, there's Jack's, like, this thing, yeah. and then there's like pipes that they're like kind of like leaning against and stuff. I don't think they were chained then. I don't. I just wrote down like you should let these guys out. What if they throw water around here again? Huh? Okay. I don't remember them hanging out around Jack or anything like that. Actually. I believe that's why I remember. It, I, that's the point. I remember it writing down, being like, why are these guys out again? Gotcha. I just imagine like, <coughs> I don't know. You should. They should have done that. Okay. I, but I, I, I thought the master is like very smart, or he's smart. He's not very logical sometimes. Anyway. Yeah. He's a little crazy. But I thought they had him locked up, and then they had him locked up, and then they brought them out whenever they were going to kill Martha and all yeah. that, and the whole war was about to start. And everything. Yeah. So. Yeah. Each each one of those rockets had a black hole converter inside of it. Black hole. So. So the, it wasn't like a nuclear payload. Yeah. The the master's ring came off, and then a hand well, with red fingernails picked it up. 
Poison Ivy. I would say just like the face of both thing, we have no idea that's what was going on with that. Yeah. Okay. It, that's it, just it a really, thing. There really didn't seem to be any context of anything with that. Yeah. It was just kind of like, hey, look, someone found a ring. Okay. Which, I mean, I guess if I was walking by some kind of, like, fire, what was this? Oh, a ring. You take... All right, it's fine. You're shaking a dead skeleton. Oh, shit. Oh, there's oh, a it? fire. There's a fire. There's a fire. It was a fire, yeah. I might not know it's a skeleton like, there. Is this skeleton completely? Is it completely gone? Yeah. I don't know. Did that fire get that hot? I don't know. There's it's a lot of wood. Windy. A lot of wood there. It's really windy. <laughs> <laughs> I like that they had still had the key on Martha. Yeah. So like the taco thing didn't see her, which makes sense. If like people were like, "You're the only person to get out of Japan alive," I think yeah. they said. Yeah. Yeah. Like that probably helped her not being able to be seen. You yeah. know. So that was good. So the paradox machine, which was the TARDIS, it was turned into what's called the paradox machine. It keeps open. Uh, and stops time from collapsing on itself from year now, or one year from present, to year, uh, what was it, 100 million? 100 trillion. 100 trillion. 100 trillion. So it keeps that <laughs> flowing, and the it, Reapers and stuff don't show up because the Paradox Machine keeps it intact. The Paradox so. Machine was allowing those guys to come back to the past and basically redo history, even though it was a paradox of, like, well, you shouldn't exist if you're destroying the world. Sure. But you do exist to come back here, and they were just letting it all happen. So, Utopia. Those people got in a rocket, shot off to this space. If I remember correctly, it was like some kind of like... It was like another planet that they were supposed to be going to. Was it a planet, or was it like... I don't think it was a Terran reality, but that, that's what they mean, though, right? It was the Paradox Machine. When He said that he took uh, his wife to the future, 120 years, because yeah. that's all he could go to anyway. And she saw what it was there, and it was terrible, and they were like cannibalizing themselves. Yeah, like they were. They, they found. They went to where they were going, and there was nothing. They weren't. They weren't anything better than before. They started turning into just tearing into each other and killing each other and stuff. And yeah. he made them into what they were and said, "Come with me to a How better." How did he make them into that? I don't know. I don't like know. they were all regular looking humans. That little boy turned into a what looks like Frieza from Dragon Ball Z. It's dead. With inside his, a ball. With his nose and mouth ripped open. Like and a Darth, ship it's like a there. Darth Malgus, like. Thing yeah. on him. Like when he says, like, I made him do this, is one line for what had to have been a huge process. And then they're just heads. Yeah. With needles coming out of their faces. N no. Yeah. It, no, they, they shoot at the bottom. At the no, bottom. they shoot at the, the bottom. They come maybe. out the back of the head. But out their out whole the body's a face. No, they're not. Still needles coming out of their faces. Face. No, it's not. That's not what it is. Bo, Bo, Bo. Bo's big. You quit fucking with humans. Humans are always getting fucked with. I mean, Cassandra, she fucked with herself. Yeah, but that was all voluntary. The Daleks took human, like, DNA and t made Daleks out of human DNA. Well, they took one cell out of, like, billions. Yeah. Yeah, they would take a little bit of each human. Like, and we need more. They would, we need those more. cannibal like, things came together. from the humans from yeah. the first episode of this arc. Oh, the sharp teeth people? Yeah. Sharp tooth. Yeah. <laughs> Is the, are, are Time sharp Lords part. descendants from... Would they be descendants from monkeys? The what? The Time Lords? Descendants from monkeys. Like, would they, would they have evolved from great apes? Because at one point he, saw, he called them, like, you primates or, like, apes, like, as, like, you know, like, uh, Frieza would. Do you believe you primitive think. apes is what yeah, you call them? which established science that I don't happens. think so. Sure. Because yeah, since there's an alien species yeah. from another planet. They just happen to look like humans. Yeah, I but guess. But they weren't descended from. Yeah. Okay. I don't think. Okay. That's how I could say. You know, like, you know, Frieza's always saying to the, the Saiyans, like, you, you know, like, there are monkeys, you know? saying to the Saiyans. Yeah. But they're also a zero. They can turn to they a zero. They turn into monkeys, though. Yeah, but, you know, if we're trying to take, like, make it as realistic as possible, they probably evolved from some kind of monkey. So the Gallifreyans evolved from two-hearted apes. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying, the master called them prime apes. I'm like, hey. <laughs> makes sense. Where'd you come from, buddy? If they're an alien, it makes sense. Sure. And then Martha. Martha leaving. Yeah. Um, like so I said... She seemed to not like it at all. Well, story-wise, it made sense, I think. Yeah. But there's a lot of times where she could have just left, and it would have made sense. I mean, the doctor's never, like, this feel. She's said it many times. She's brought this feelings out, and he's, yeah, he's never done that. <coughs> she's never made it known. Like, when she had her story about, like, you know, she waited for that guy that lived with him or whatever, I'm, just, I'm thinking, like, you should have said something. Not, <laughs> it shouldn't be just, get out, or I'm getting out. It should be, hey, be honest with your feelings, and then if they don't, then get out. I mean, I... That that whole moment there, like she's like she's just rubbing it in now. I'm like it could have also been a way of her saying without just trying to come yeah. out straight and say it. And like maybe there's a chance of him like, you know, maybe reciprocating. Then I think it's yeah. clear that he you know? that he she kind of knew, right? 
that he knew. Yeah. Well, it, it was never maybe. It was never brought out. It was always assumption, assumption. But I feel like that there kind of brings it more to the front of like, yeah. hey, here's what, and then this is me getting out. Sure. And he was like, well, don't get out. I'll, that's fine. You know, I, I mean, let's do this. He could have said something, but I think she was kind of like coming back in to make sure she got her word of like. You know, I wanted to. Tell I, me, I, wanted, I love you. I That's why I'm leaving. I wanted something more to happen, but I don't want to stick around yeah. for years to something that can't happen. Because I'm he, whenever he wasn't the doctor, he fell in love with that one girl. He didn't. He didn't fall in love with Martha. With Martha. Yeah. yeah. You know, that was one of her things. But also, you got to look at like he came to a time period would have been where it would have been not as acceptable. If she was a teacher like him, and she was. Yeah. She was. But I, I think that a theme throughout this entire <coughs> season is that he doesn't <coughs> treat her the way he treated Rose. Not to say that. He ever was in love with Rose, even though I feel like he was way more than he was with Martha. Yeah. Like, Martha was constantly being almost, like, he kept, would, he would bring up Rose, or Jack and, would bring up Rose. Yeah, and the first and few the episodes, doctor had that look. Sure. And Martha knew that the doctor never feel about him the way he felt about her. In the it's first kind of few episodes, there was something he said, one, he's like, well, Rose would know what to do, you know? Yeah. And she's like, well, what the fuck about me? Well, I can figure out something. You yeah. You know, like, it's like, he definitely had that kind of thing where, like, he wasn't seeing her. And you know it's not I mean? like he didn't make an effort to, like... Get closer to her. I just don't, I don't think he ever had the feeling of getting close to yeah. her, you know? And I think she just wanted um, to have that moment of like, you know, I, I feel like this and I, I can't stick around for something that can't, that's not gonna be, I'm gonna leave. Now, I will say, I think Martha was way more competent than Rose ever was. Like, I feel like the chemistry between the, the, the doctor and Rose was always good and, you know, obviously he had great feelings for her, but Rose would sometimes do shit. I can't believe she's doing this. Martha, at least I feel like everything she did was all right. You know, I don't think we ever had a moment. I feel like we had moments of Rose where, like, why the fuck are you leaving by yourself? Like, Rose you know? was chasing like, that gas mask kid up a ladder to <laughs> nowhere. <laughs> and then she's like, oh my gosh, I'm going to blimp. I don't think we ever, ever had a moment of Martha. I don't think we like, ever had that why? with Martha. Like, we had the moment yeah, of I mean, her being in the cars. Remember the yeah. cars? But she got kidnapped and taken. It wasn't like she walked away from yeah. the doctor. Yeah. The only, you know? the only time with Martha I've ever felt like, what the hell are you doing, is when she ran off into the park in this last episode. But apparently <laughs> the doctor told her exactly what to do to make everything better. You go out and make yourself a like legend. He wasn't talking to her that you long. You know? Yeah. I mean, all he said, I think, was like, and that's all we see. Prepare for the town and tell him a story. I mean, and, don't know, get like, me wrong. I, I liked this set of episodes. I thought it was a cool story, especially in bringing back the master. That mm -hmm. was awesome. I do feel there's a part of me that feels like it's a <laughs> little, there's the writing, and it's a, it's a little sloppy. It's a tiny bit. I don't okay. know why. I, I have to, like, really sit down and get my I, thoughts. I don't know. Like, I, I admire. I don't know. Like is it, with, with Martha, I admire the writers not putting the companion in like a situation for us to have an episode by making her do something stupid. Sure. And in this, and with Martha, I feel like it's a step up for the writers. Yeah. Well, this episode kind of focused more on Martha. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't so, really about the doctor. So, so I mean, she me, had a year I, I would, uh, building her let you know legend in one year. It's pretty pretty good. I, I mean, I was constantly upset with Rose. Even I, I always came back because I liked her and the doctor yeah. liked her, but like I feel like. I was never disappointed. But I, when I realized I was losing Rose, I feel like I had a much more emotional reaction than when I, oh, we're losing Martha. I'm like, well, we should be back. And but we didn't lose them in the same way. Yeah, no. and the doctor, I was, it, it didn't affect the doctors nearly as much as it affected when he went with Rose, you know? Here, he's just like, oh, huh, okay. Yeah. But like, There's a Titanic. <laughs> Rose went to a place where, like, you're like, well, we're not going to see her again. Yeah. Well, I mean, her, she Martha, went out like a boss, too. Like, yeah. that was a lot more dramatic than... Martha just going out on the way she wants to go out, which yeah. I admire that. Sure. But when I said, like, sloppiness in terms of, like, Are you, I meant, like, the end. Is it more of the Archangel Super Saiyan kind of moment? You just didn't like that? There's that moment. It, it feels like if everything's supposed to fit together perfectly like this, there's, it's like this. It's not, I just feel like there's nothing, it's not quite coherent. I wouldn't be surprised if there was either, this was, like, a form by committee when it came to writing, or someone new. Or, I don't know, there's something that didn't super gel with me. I just can't put my finger on it, even though I really liked it. There's just something there I feel like, maybe if you did this, this, and this, everything would fit together a little better. And I wouldn't be so much like, huh? As I would be like, oh, you know? I had a lot of like, what the fuck is happening moments versus yeah. like, I can't believe this is happening. Or I, I didn't expect this. Like the face of bone moment is just weird. Yeah. You know, I, I'm not like, oh, shit, like, surprised at obvious or something. I'm just like... What? Huh? I wish there was a way they could have made it, you know, like, if they knew ahead of time, they would give us a little clue. That's what I'm saying. It feels like a retroactive thing. But I, I, I like it. I actually sure. like it a lot. I remember watching it and being like, wait, what? And Mallory was standing behind me. She's looking at me. She's just sitting there, like, staring at me. I'm like, 
What? Yeah. <laughs> did, she, did she ever watch this? She'd seen it before I had. Jesus. <clears throat> the, the worst thing about whenever I first watched it is I was watching it at Radio Shack whenever I was working because it would come on BBC. Yeah. And the episodes I would see would just be like here and there and here. Yeah. I'm and trying to this think. This doctor, that yeah. doctor. So I wasn't watching them in order. And I'd be like, man, I don't know what's going on. This seems really cool. And then like someone would be like, someone else that I worked with was there and like, you just tell me all this stuff. Sure. And I'm like, oh, okay. So then whenever I started actually watching it all by myself, I knew a lot of this stuff already. And I was like, yeah. oh, well, this is this. Okay. Well, I know this coming. I don't have that twist down. Like, I guess. You know, yeah. that kind of stuff. I have to think of something that everybody <laughs> knows about or, okay, it's been 40 years. You have, if you haven't seen Empire Strikes Back yet and you don't know that Anakin Skywalker is Darth Vader, I don't have to tell you. Okay, but in that people, ha- a lot of people had that same like first reaction, like what? That doesn't make any sense. How could he be Anakin Skywalker? Empire's stupid. But <laughs> then when you watch Episode Four and, and Luke's talking about his dad, and you, you, Obi Wan has, wait, what's that look? You know, it's like, well, that seems weird. Like you can kind of like watch something again and be like, oh, this does kind of make sense. It gives new meaning. It gives new meaning. Mm-hmm. But I don't know if Doctor Who would uh, have that. I don't know if he's acting to. The it, fact of like being, because you would have to. You're also you filling in. Told out Guinness yeah, there. and I don't think they told out Guinness like how well, many years it. Yeah, but George Lucas, I, I believe his wife talked about this. Like he put in, they call it the mystery box. When sometimes you see in little reactions that people can interpret later, but they don't necessarily know what's going to be right then. It gives you breathing room. And it for gives the story. you breathing, breathing room for like the well, when you had a revelation. Like he knew that he was going to have something with the dad. <coughs> But he, it was originally, like in the original Empire script, it was that Obi-Wan killed your father. Yep. And that first look, you know, could be interpreted like, you know, oh my God, I killed him. You know, a uh, young pupil of mine killed him, you know? Yeah. So they could interpret it that way. But they seeded something in that scene. Not necessarily, maybe it's a bad example where it's like, you know, uh, other examples you can like, I just don't want to spoil things for people. Well, yeah, you know? I know what you mean. Yeah. But, yeah. Like, but they seeded something. I don't know if Jack ever had something seeded. You know? It is kind of... He's a fucking face above. He's, got a strong like, he's, the, he's the tree lady. He's got I was a like, strong... oh shit. You know? <laughs> it's kind of the same thing. I think he's got kind of the strong jaw, just like Bo. Yeah. I just can't. I don't know. Beautiful I mean, man. there may not be like the genetic <laughs> connections like that, but if you got like, there's this creature that has sure. lived for millions and billions of yeah. years. Billions. You know, I forget exactly how long. It's, Five million. If the doctor could live uh, 900 years and that's what he would look like, what would a human look like that lived b- billions of years? Millions. He'd look like a giant face. No, it was five billion, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, yeah, it was, it was, it was five billion. Because it was it was new, 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 yeah. right? It was the cat people. Yeah, the yeah. fucking. Well, it was that one nurse that was keeping him alive. Mm-hmm. Well, and we had the face of Bo before again. Because five point five point two five Apple five or whatever was when they were destroying billion, the Earth. Yeah, five billion was when the sun will explode. Yeah, yeah. I That's a right. Bo Burns yeah. song when you were saying. And the that. face of Bo was there. Five point two apple pie. Three point one four apple pie. <laughs> 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 uh, but yeah. uh, no, we also had Bo um, with Rose at New New York, right? With Cassandra again, right? Mm-hmm. Isn't wasn't he there? And then we had him again yeah. in New 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 York, New York. Yeah. yeah. In the further future with Martha. So we had him met there. Mm-hmm. So maybe rewatch that and see what you think, and then rewatch the other. I was, one just, I was trying to think. think like, there was never a moment where anything was said that I was like, "Who is the face of Bo?" I don't know. Because I mean, they talk about like a great wanderer who come across his oldest friend or uh, something or another, and he'll reveal a secret. Like yeah. they had that, and then I think in the one before. They had something about like the heavens or something. Why was Jack called the face of Bo when he was a kid? <coughs> because he, he was, was from, from the. He lived in a place the, called the Bo Sh- Shire. Yeah. Peninsula? Bo Sherry Peninsula, something like that? Bo Shen. Bo Shen Peninsula? Is that mm-hmm. what it was? Bo Sh- something? I think so. Just yeah. the, I was a poster boy. The way they threw the time it in agency had another cover and called me the face of Bo. I was trying to think of like some kind of local hero from here being called the face of the MOV or something. <laughs> it's, it's even a strange thing to call a kid the face of Bo. Face of Etta. The face of Marietta. The face of Etta. Yeah, I'm, I'm just saying, like, we don't, like, Bo yeah. could be, like, face of Marietta. you know, like, we have Peaberg, right? Like a, yeah, the it's face like of a Peaberg. nickname for a place. Marietta doesn't want, Marietta kind of Etta, I guess. Etta, yeah. I, I think people call it Etta. Etta. Yeah. yeah. And Etta. I always hate those people, though. I know, you, don't, you don't like Etta? No, I don't like Etta. I, I like Etta. I, I feel like it's a thing. You're from Lower Salem, technically. I feel like yeah, I like Marietta. Though. Yeah, but you're not from here. I lived here. I live here now. What do you Where call you it? Where are you, <laughs> you son of a bitch? You low motherfucker! You call it old? 
I got, oh my god, get that out of here. I call things the way they're named officially on documents. No, I was just trying to make something Except up. Except Peeberg, I like Peeberg. Whip. The face, okay. The face um, of Silk Cow? Yeah. Pull. I think that's Pull. everything other than Pull. Whip. We, we had like that Whip. minor character Tom. Whip. Yeah. That just kills himself. He, and then he, yeah, he was terrible, right? Yeah. Because it was whip pool. Yeah, good. But yeah, Tom like j ran out trying to save Martha because the master looked like. I thought that was a weird scene too. Really? Why? Yeah, I don't know. There's something weird about the pace. I mean, the master was, was there, there, so he always messes with the pace of the edit anyway. I mean, the master was like, "All right, it's time for you to die," and then he jumped out. He like her like, plan. No! And he's like, her, her plan was get captured by the master. He won't kill me here. He'll wait until I'm with the doctor, and then once I'm with the doctor. I, like, she didn't have to be there to do that, right? No. Like, that would have happened regardless if she was there or not. She goes, she goes in to turn herself in or in or kill, get herself killed. Mm -hmm. Tom comes out to save her, does nothing, and he just continues, you know? Yes. Like, Tom died for nothing. Yeah, but she couldn't say, hey, don't do that, because yeah. we're getting, gonna get I guess the only thing she does know is the, that kind of, that Tom has the kind of character I'd be like, I'm gonna call him up when I get back to the past. You know? She, I, I think, I don't know, she was like, called him, and then gave flowers to the one girl. Yeah. I think just wanted to like, touch base with the people well, that Well, I, I guess it's kind of seeding like, look, even the, the doctor might never love you back, but there's others out there, like Tom. You know, the guy that died for you. <laughs> it just seemed like a strange, I, I, I both liked it and felt like it needed a little tightening, or just a little tiny bit of uh, fine tuning. That's why he's everybody's friend on MySpace. Yeah, right? Tom. Tom. You guys got anything else? Um, it was a long, a long conversation. We're really chatty oh, today. No. I liked it a lot. Yeah. <coughs> Calvin, what do you think? Calvin, you don't usually say too much. I, I don't say too much because I'm not exactly sure how f much further I know. Yeah. I know I've seen up to this point, but... There was a part of me that was like worried that this was the end. Yeah, of I love this. Second. I love really? this. Because I don't know when the next one starts, so you know? Mm -hmm. Good. So I, I, was, I was like wearing like... Because I know there's another Doctor after Tenet. Obviously, because he's not a doctor anymore and things still going, you know? Yeah. Uh, I know there's Matt Smith and Peter Capaldi. I just don't know when they die, you know, and regenerate. So I was here, I was thinking, like, don't die as a fucking old man. <laughs> I want to see that beautiful face for again. I like, uh, I, I, I find it good that you're, because I remember when I first started watching and, like, I got to a point, I'm like, I'm worried. I'm worried. He's gonna be gone. I can't, I can't keep going. <laughs> yeah. I, I like to David Tennant a lot. Oh, like, I don't yeah. want to keep going and get to someone else. So I didn't well, want to watch, watch anymore. Like, I'm, I'll just uh, I'll stop. Then he's okay. my doctor. Then he's my doctor. You know. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I was at the point. A lot of people ask this question too. Like, how do you guys get rid of? How do you guys like avoid spoilers or not look something up? Like, it's a work hazard now. Yeah. It, it like, is. Like, I always think like whenever I'm going on Wikipedia or looking for something, I'm like, well, I can't look at any Arrow <coughs> stuff because they might have already updated that stuff. You know. But I've seen him start all the Star Wars stuff. It's probably safe to go there. You know, they're not gonna have any Rebel stuff. I mean, Last Jedi. Pages. I usually, I feel like I haven't looked up, like try to look up anything on why. Hey, I don't act unless I, I have to. I don't actively look up and I don't go on social media. I don't, I don't follow any groups like fan groups because that, that's right for. With the, stuff. You know what the main thing is that probably yeah. spoils me more than anything right now is like Twitter, yeah, or, or Facebook, like social media, where you get notifications. It's weird. I'm on Twitter what is posted? I, like, I feel like Twitter is pretty good. Like most I mean, of the I, I, I never get spoiled on Twitter. Honestly. Like a lot of people, you no, know, I remember, always get spoiled remember, by talking, about the, talking about the um, the hand, right? Yeah, like, it was a doctor's hand. Sure. And like someone like posted about the hand and stuff like that on uh, on Twitter, and I was okay. so worried because so many people kept on doing comments like, "Can't you guys figure out the, there's bow and the hand and this and that?" I'm like, just leave him alone. Is it, is it possible to figure out that Jack is no, the No, that's the thing. Like, don't, I didn't want anyone to find out because there's nothing really, until you get to that point, I don't feel like there's okay. any reason like you're going to figure it out. Like, because just when it happened, like, oh, she like, looked over at me, and I'm like, <laughs> oh, shit. And then I was thinking, like, wait, what have I missed? Because I'm like, this is out of left field. And then I was like, wait, no, the hand bow. And I'm like, that was mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, like, I just, like, okay. when you said that, when you said about the hand bow, I was like, ah. <laughs> like, it made me think about that. Like the, people like put together the face of Bob. The like, doctor's no, hand. Do that it? like I was like, oh, well that yeah, the hand fell off. Of course, Tori yeah. would have it. Mm -hmm. So like I could see people being like, Eric, hey, don't you get this? You know, but the face of Bo. No. Yeah, I remember. I remember seeing some people like, just wait, they'll get to it. Like they'll figure it out. See, I feel like a lot of people came to. There, there was a, like, uh, no, nah, I was gonna. Say, do a Game of Thrones thing, but yeah, it's worse some spoiler. of that. There's some Walking Dead instances <laughs> like, of stuff happening yeah. where I've gotten spoiled on like Facebook and stuff. Sure, 
Yeah. But well, I was going to say, like, Little Debbies. there's a big revelation in Little Game Debbies. of Thrones. And a lot of people, like, went through the books and found the clues and, like, guys, I think this happens. And then there's people that heard that theory that will then claim, oh, I knew I, I figured that out. But I, I can tell you, 90% of those people, they read about it. They had figured it out on their own. Yeah. Like, Calvin figured it out on his own, even though he was given a formula, you know? But you still kind of figure it out. I think you're a very, it's a very rare case that you figure that out, you know? I don't think the face of boat could be figured out by anybody, <laughs> but that's a check. <laughs> so to use that example, like, there's people that claimed it, and there's people that are like, oh, you could figure it out. I, I could figure it out. I don't know if they could figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. So, I, I get what you mean. Like, the yes. only thing that supports it is that he said it, and you never saw him together. <laughs> It's like, that's, that's it. And, and that Bo has lived a long, 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 yeah, long yeah. time. He's like the oldest living being, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I, I like to think that, like, people that were close to Bruce Wayne, when they, if they were able to find out he's Batman, they'd be like, that makes sense. Yeah. You know, but if, they, if it turned out he was, like, fucking Martian Manhunter, like, what? Bruce what Wayne? Fuck? <laughs> yeah. I can get that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't have anything else. This, so, is, this something, is a good episode, a good discussion. With, with something like this, like, did, did you enjoy the... I don't know. A lot of people have been talking about like this compared to like Blink. I I enjoyed them both. Blink to me was of was very very well written, mm -hmm. um, and it didn't rely on the Doctor to be good. Mm -hmm. It relied purely on an idea. Yeah. Well, with this too though, like for the most part, you don't yeah. have really the Doctor sure. there. You know, there's a lot on Martha. Yeah. I, I did like, I love the inclusion of the Master, if only because we watched that one episode of Classic Hill. It, if I didn't have that, I wouldn't have liked it as much. It adds much more to yeah. it, I think, that we had that in there. So it was Like, knowing like that there's a history with this guy, because I would have hated to have been like, wait, who's the Master? And then you guys are like, oh, he's, uh, he's from the old show. And I don't know, for me, there's a disconnect, because, well, it just seems like they're not the same fucking place. You know what I mean? It seems like it's not the same place, they're not the same I, I think they did it really smart because one, they set up that when a doctor takes away his thing and puts it in the, in the, in the watch, he doesn't remember anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we don't know anything that happened between then and then except what was filled in recently. But like, you know, other than having the old actor or, or something like that, they did it pretty perfectly. Yeah. yeah. Like, because he like, he doesn't remember anything and then regenerates immediately, you know? Yeah. So you can, the doctor always has a different personality when he regenerates. I get, for me, the only thing, like, I guess I personally felt disconnected with when I was watching is was when he was holding him in his arms saying, remember all the things they did together? Yeah. And I'm thinking, that guy's been around for two years. Well, episodes. I have to assume that. Yeah, I mean, that's, yeah, how, that's yeah. how I felt like I watched it. They have quite a history, especially. Well, we got a taste of it. Yeah. I just know that that guy existed. I yeah. don't know any yeah. I know his stories. character existed. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's putting, you know, Chris Eccleston and David Tennant, you know? Well, like, I that's know. the same character. But I get what you're saying. Like I, 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 I did personally feel like, oh, the doctor, or you know, the uh, fucking the professor, the, the <laughs> you know, the yeah. master. Like, oh, I recognize that. But people that are long term fans of the show, that was probably a huge deal. It was probably a bigger you know? deal for them. Yeah. Like, it's harder to like to have like the tears that David Tennant has yeah. when he's crying about the master dying. Sure. Because you don't have the same relationship with the master. Yeah. It's, it's easier, I think, to try to connect to more of like. Now he is the last yeah. time lord. Like you know, he had yeah. that hope of I'm not the last one, and it's, now it's been taken. It's away comparable from him, to like if you've ever you've watched Rebel, Star Wars Rebels, but you never saw Clone Wars. So season two's <clears throat> finale, you would be like, oh, I get it. I know that these two are connected, but you don't feel like we felt it when we watched that. Yeah. We'd see well, you know, cartoons too. It's easy. You know, that's part yeah. of it with me. Yeah, I mean, they're cartoons, and I don't, you know, and no, I'm not. Talking, to... I'm not talking about the form. I'm talking about like the the relationship you personally have with the character. Yeah. Like, like, you would, if you watched just Rebels, you would know, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. You would know that character from Rebels, and like, oh, okay, I get it. Like, I get the Master, but I don't have that feeling when they're crying. I was like, oh, this is a good scene, but if someone that's watched it, if they, let's say they watched the Clone Wars, like we did, if, and we did cry during that if, scene, you if know? You have, you, have, you, meet, you have a character you met for two episodes, yeah. but then when you tie them into... I don't know how many episodes the Master was in back in the day. He was in quite know? a few for so like most of the generations. Tie it into what he was in with that, yeah. whether he was working against or with the Doctor or whatever. Because you know, in, in uh, the thing we watched, they kind of had like a work with slash work against. You know, yeah. like there's like that love hate relationship they have. So like when you have that as well paired with this, it, yeah. I feel like it definitely would be different than just like, well, I've seen him for two episodes plus his old version. You know, he's definitely like. What's that for me? It's like the actor thing, like. Like a supernatural when Ruby, like the demon, when it was a new girl, I'm like, mm -hmm. and she said she just switched bodies. I'm like, no, they, that's, that's just a new, yeah. this is a new chick. You feel a little yeah, bit I mean? thick, this guy. I, mean, I, I feel that way when I think about Eccleson and Rose and then Tennant and Rose. 
It's yeah. weird. Like I feel differently, but the same. Yeah, only like, like with Ashley Eckstein, like it was the same girl doing the voice. Sure, no, so I, I didn't feel it, the disconnect. Like it's the same chick as a cartoon. It's yeah, the same you voice. didn't feel the disconnect, but somebody that never saw Clone Wars might feel the disconnect. Well, in, no, in but it would be the, the same, same actress. That's, that's all I was saying. Well, what I was it wouldn't matter for, if it's the same actress because that person didn't watch Clone Wars at all. What I was saying for me, though, like, like the disconnect had nothing to do with me not watching the old stuff. It was the fact that I saw old, oh, not old Hollywood, but the you know I saw the old version of how mm -hmm. they um, had their uh, their planet and the Doctor, and I, it looked just kind of cheap compared to this. Yeah. Okay. okay. I mean, That's yeah. what I was saying. There's I, a your, disc, there's a disc. I, don't, I don't personally agree, but I get what you're saying. Yeah. All right. It was just weird. Oh, also, the top two things I've tried to say, like, social media is a big spoiler for me. Yeah. The second one's shame. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so. Unfortunately. <laughs> I agree. Also, something, something I was want to say about the master, he's more of a uh, Loki character. Yeah, more of a trickster. Yeah. Yeah. But, like, but working, him and Thor have a very, like, hate-love relationship of working I, with, working against each other. Yeah. You know, I, I kind of bring a lot with me when it comes to the Master. Like, I'm like, when I when I watch him, especially in some of these weird scenes, I'm like, this is what it would be like if the Doctor was evil. Yeah, Pretty kind much, of, yeah. You know? They're very different. Like, he's making out with this chick, you know? Yeah. And the like, Doctor is so, like, every time he, like, puts his fucking glasses on and does science, he figures everything out like MacGyver, you know? Like, if you use that for evil intentions, you would dominate the like universe. Like, he was like, yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Yeah, no. He's a yeah. bitch not wearing socks or shoes. I took off my socks. <laughs> I just saw your foot coming from the socks. <laughs> it's like you're doing an Eric, Eric wipe an ass thing. Huh? No, but like, we... Like he, toes. He, he just, you know, he's always like holding two wires, no, sure. screwdriver in the mouth. Like, I'm just saying, like, tangled up. With the master, you kind of get a vision of what it would be like if the doctor was evil. Yeah. You know? It's very much like, it's a classic trope in superheroes or... Anime, like here's the evil version of your character. Here's black suit Spider-Man. He's going more evil, and he starts doing things that's more selfish. You know, what if he's like this all the time? Don't you appreciate the good one? It, it's Iron Man versus Captain America. It could make. You <laughs> <laughs> I would but say it's more like Goku versus like Vegeta or no, Goku yeah, versus Raditz. It, it, like it yes. could make you uh, curious too, because like when they talked about them uh, looking into the the vortex, right? Yeah, and. He's like, you either look in and you run or yeah. you fight. Was that the other option he said? No. And then I keep looking. And then when he looked into it, he went mad. Yeah. Yeah. And then it was like, well, what did you see? What, what did you see? He's like, I ran and never stopped. You know, that's what the doctor did. And then it's like, and the other guy went mad. He's like, well, what about the third option? Like, third option was uh, like, there's an enlightenment that happens, right? He just. I thought it was like a fight kind of thing. It was like a fight or run or. I can't remember. <clears throat> it could have been enlightenment. I don't remember. Exactly. I thought it was enlightenment, run, or go mad. <clears throat> I don't remember. There was yeah, a, this is the third option. I'm curious. I'm like, what, what could that do? You know? What writer? It was a contest or something. It's like create the scary short story, or create a short story in one sentence. And someone said, "I looked into the abyss, and the abyss looked back," or something like that. It's supposed to be like a scary short story. Huh. I've seen those. I've seen some of those like on Twitter. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. I don't have any. You guys have anything else? I think we might have exhausted this one. <coughs> well, good. Because sometimes <laughs> people are like, man, they don't talk about Doctor Who in depth. Yeah. And they do other shows. Yeah. Like, look at Marty. <laughs> right. The only other thing that I had, which kind of got explained in the episode, um, about the Time Reapers, mm -hmm. like, because there was a paradox, but then, like, the oh, paradox yeah. machine fixes it. Yeah, well, the Paradox Machine didn't fix it. It was keeping everything from tearing apart. It was allowing it to be. Because a yeah. Time Reaper will but come in when it when there is a, a Paradox is a tear, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like they created this a Paradox that a shouldn't have been, and then it came in. But this yeah. one was allowing it to be. See, that was my question with Utopia. Like, they found... I thought they found a tear in reality, and that's where they're going. No, Utopia was a little like blip they found that supposedly was the best place okay. that was still alive in the galaxy you could go Maybe I should, and survive. I should rewatch it, but, I, but I feel like there was a line saying something about reality, not space. But the 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 master he took out a disc that was giving you the blip. Yeah. So like it wasn't even real. It was okay. Fake. I was trying to think like just send him off. It, to would hell. Be, it would be interesting <laughs> because the paradox is protect protected. It would have always been there. So the humans detect a terror in reality, go there for salvation. And creates the paradox over and over and over again. So yeah. like, it, like, like the doctor comes into a paradox that's already happening. Yeah, technically it wouldn't have existed yeah. yet. Yes, yeah, true. Because yeah. the doc, the, yeah. the master hadn't left <coughs> in the TARDIS yet. But it, like the idea the of a paradox is like, but I guess the doctor he goes in space and time, so he doesn't really feel the effects, or we don't see the effects. 
But the idea is that somewhere in a paradox is something that's happening infinitely, as an infinite loop, except it both starts and ends. Yes. Which is weird yeah. to say. And it's why you have to say wibbly wobbly, timey wimey stuff. Yeah. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. This was a very fun episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want to see the next episode, which is uh, it said Christmas episode, Voyage of the Damned, that's probably over on Patreon. Make sure you guys go to patreon.com slash blindwave. Watch it there right now.